Hey guys, Aaron and Dusty, welcome back to our kitchen for another bomb recipe we could not wait to share. So this recipe is a million different things. <laughs> it is rainbow-licious, yes. as you can see. It's also protein-packed, and it is bursting with flavor. Yes. Needless to say, we didn't know how to title this video <laughs> without making it a million miles long. Right. So we're simply calling it our, our favorite, favorite chili, chili recipe. recipe. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, it is hashtag vegan. <laughs> totally. It's got to be, right? We made this for the first time the other night. It is actually our favorite, probably stew ever. Oh, for we sure. We just made it a good one that we shared with you guys a few weeks ago, but this is no joke. Hands down, the best chili we've ever made. So yes. we have got to share it with you. It's seasonally appropriate, perfect <laughs> for fall, perfect for winter. It'll keep you warm and nourished all season long. Baby S is just eating it up. <laughs> yes, totally. So anyways, if you guys are into these hearty dinner recipes, yes. give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, join us here at the Eat Move Rest fam. We would love to have you and make sure that notification bell is turned on. Yes, share this video with friends and as always, follow us on all forms of social media at DB Stanzik and at Aaron Stanzik. And don't forget to leave us some love in the comments below. For this recipe, you will need three medium tomatoes, three stalks of celery, one can of navy beans, one can of diced tomatoes, three medium sweet potatoes, one bell pepper, red, orange, yellow, whatever you desire, one cup of sweet corn, one small red onion, one cup of rinsed green lentils, three cloves of garlic, the juice of half a lemon, and your spices. You will be needing four different spices. You're going to need two teaspoons of cumin, four teaspoons of dried oregano, one teaspoon of paprika, and one teaspoon of chili powder. You can also incorporate salt and pepper to taste. The cumin and oregano will get sauteed up with our tomato sauce, and the paprika and chili powder are going to go in a separate dish to add in later on. Okay, so step number one, you're gonna to wanna to add your tomatoes, your canned tomatoes, your onion, your bell pepper, your garlic, your cumin, and oregano all to the pot and start simmering it down. Now the tomatoes are gonna be juicy enough, so you won't need to add water. These will simmer and saute up just fine on their own. I would do it for about 10 or 15 minutes and then we're gonna blend half of it. Now that we've got our chunky homemade tomato sauce, the base of our chili recipe, we're gonna add in our remaining ingredients to our Dutch oven. Our sweet potatoes, our celery, kidney beans, corn, our chili powder, and paprika. And last, our rinsed green lentils. Now, obviously you can see we need a little bit of liquid, so we're gonna add two cups of water. You can always add more if you like a soupier consistency, but we like a thick and hearty chili. Also opt to add in one to two tablespoons of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Now we're just gonna give all of our ingredients a good stir, make sure everything is well combined and covered in our liquid. We're gonna pop the lid on and give it time to boil. Once it boils, you can reduce the heat to medium low and let it go. So the final step to almost all of our soup and stew recipes is to top it with some kale. All you need to do is de-stem your kale, tear it up into bite-sized pieces, and then mix it in and it will cook up perfectly. And I'm just mashing up some avocado. This mashed up avocado is like our favorite thing on top of chili. All right, so <laughs> dishing up for dinner, our favorite vegan chili recipe is, is complete. Finally <laughs> time for me. For you. Can I try it? You better. The taste test. Mmm. Still favorite? It's confirmed. <laughs> it's amazing. You better let me try it. But first, if you guys like this video, you know the drill. <laughs> 
Give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, make sure you're part of the Eat, Move, Rest fam. Yep. Click that bell to turn on notifications. <laughs> leave us a comment below, leave us something sweet, leave us some love, and share the video with your friends, with your family, and as always, follow Aaron and I both on all forms of social media, at DB Stanzik, <laughs> at Aaron Stanzik, and hopefully you enjoy Eat, Move, and Rest your, your best. best. <laughs> Bye, Bye guys. guys.